Now let's try this problem. How many permutations or we can say arrangements of the letter of the word Madhubani do not begin with M but end with right? So how many letters are there? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 letters are there and uh, this uh, A is repeated for 2 times, right? So let's take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, right? Now last position is fixed for I. So we have just one choice over here. Now for the first position, M cannot come, right? So we have how many choices now? Because one already has gone over here. M cannot come. That means we are left with seven choices. Now out of these seven choices, we have two A's over here. Right. So we take two cases when the first position is occupied by A. Right. So suppose first position is occupied by A. That means we have just one choice. Now one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places are there, and we have seven letters, and there is no repetition. So seven factorial arrangements will be there. Right. Because in the for the moment inside A and I, only one A is there, so there is no repetition. Right. So it's seven factorial ways will be there. Now the second case is if the first position is not occupied by A, right? That means uh, we are left with the, see when I has gone, I cannot be there, M cannot be there, two A's are not there. So we are left with five choices, right? So for the first place, if A is not there, we are having five choices, right? Then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places are there. And uh, we have seven letters. So seven letters can be arranged in seven factorial uh, ways, right? And uh, for movement uh, between this letter and this letter, we have two A's. So we need to divide it by two factorial. So in all, five into seven factorial by two factorial plus this seven factorial, right? So if A is at the first place, these will be the number of arrangement. If None of the A is at the first place, then these will be the number of arrangements, right? So we just have to calculate that. It's 7 factorial. Uh, we can take it as common. So it's uh, 5 by 2 plus 1, that is 7 by 2. So 7 into 7 factorial by 2 will be our answer. So I hope you are clear with both the cases. Now friends, uh, let's see this question. In how many ways can be the letters of the word intermediate be arranged so that the vowels always occupy even places, right? Now, first of all, let's calculate the number of letters in this. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, right? 12 letters are there. Now, next is what is the repetition? Um, e, 1, 2, 3 times E. Now then I1 and 2 times I. Then T and T, T2 times. Now 3, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7. Now we are left with N, R, M, A. and D right so these uh, five letters are for one time and these letters are for three two and two times right now we have to uh, take the first case the walls always occupy even places now we have walls how many walls this E this I and this A right so we have six vowels right now we have 12 places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right now in these 12 places uh, vowels should be at even places so 1 2 3 4 5 6 choices we are having right and we are having 3 plus 2 5 and 1 6 vowels right so all the six positions will be filled up by six vowels right now six vowels on the six positions can be arranged in six factorial ways. Now, E is repeated for three times. So I would divide 
by 3 factorial then i is divided uh, i is repeated for two times so i would divide by 2 factorial now this is what the arrangement of just vowels right now the remaining uh, letters so the remaining six letters can be arranged in six factorial ways that is the consonants can be arranged in six factorial ways and further t is repeated two times that is a consonant so further i would divide by two factorial so these are the total number of ways when all the vowels occupy even places right so we just have to solve it and you can solve it and you uh, will be getting the answer so the first problem we have done right now the second one is the relative order of vowel and consonants do not alter i just um, just a moment now the second case is the relative order of vowels and consonants do not alter, alter right so what is the order of uh, vowels that is i then e then further e then i and then e and then e right so this is the order of vowels and uh, consonants it's n t r m d and t 3 3 6 and 6 12 right now the important point over here we have to make the arrangement but the order of vowels and consonant should not change right that means the vowel should appear in this manner only maybe the consonants are there in between but the relative order should not be changed that means e should always come after i and this uh, i when i should always come after e and then a e and then maybe the consonants can come in between right so what i do is i just uh, first of all let me arrange the six consonants right now six consonants can be arranged in six factorial ways but we cannot arrange the consonants over here in six factorial ways because in the six factorial ways the order of the consonants will definitely be changed right so what is the alternative approach we have i have 12 places 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 right from these 12 places i select any six places right so 12 c 6 right so i'm just selecting the six places from these 12 places and on the selected six places i have just one way of arranging the consonants is that the order should be n t r m d and t right so in this order i have to arrange and that is the single possibility of arrangement so there is just one way right now on the remaining positions uh, remaining six position we have to arrange the vowels in this order only so further six positions are there six vowels are there and there is single arrangement possible so further it's one so in all our answer is 12 c 6 right so it's 12 factorial by 6 factorial into 6 factorial this this is the answer 